Guys, there's something really strange about these new releases here, but I just can't put my finger on it. I feel like we've gotten them before. Like I'm feeling some deja vu here, but I know, like I know they're different and new, but there's something about them. It's just not right. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a sec. Wait. We have gotten them before, but they are slightly different. They're all variants. Oh my goodness, guys. Mind revelation right there. But anyways, welcome back to another Disney docket presentation. So these are four new, quote unquote, new releases, but not really because they are all variants. Now, Trainer Cruise is a little bit different because she's actually a new variant. We've never gotten her with that headpiece before, but I mean, it's hardly visible, especially, you know, this angle that they have her in the packaging. But the rest of them, they all have been released before, but each of them, they're actually very different. Thailand and also some executive changes from Mattel to close Chris Revstopsky's bed, which is accurate to the movie and make Terry Cargas the accurate model. Some good things here, some good changes. Same with Ramon, his color is now more accurate to the movie, but it is essentially China versus Thailand. So we're going to open all these up and review them in this video. I'm not going to make it like a half an hour video. They are going to be a little shorter reviews than usual. I did make this decision recently because I wasn't even going to review them at all. Then I thought, why not unbox them all in a video with some other cars? But then I was like, how about I just do this? How about I open them, do some quick reviews so everybody's happy? Because a lot of people do want me to review these, especially Terry and Chris. Not so much Cruz and Ramon, but since they fall into this category pretty well, I decided to why not throw them in. So let's start here. We're just going through the packages here. So Terry and Chris are from case Y. That also included Randy Lawson and Shiny Wax Tractor. So I love the artwork that they give him. Of course, he is in the Piston Cut Racer series that also includes Speedy Comet, Floyd Mulvey Hill, Punchy Wipeout, and Darren Leadfoot, all of which have been previously released. There's a picture of McQueen, Bobby, and Cal. Rookies and racing legends alike compete to win the coveted Piston Cup. Excellent. So in my opinion, this is the best one out of these four here. Although I do love Ramon's brand new, just vibrant yellow. It looks phenomenal. We have his classic artwork that they used all the way back in the day. Back in 2007, they used this artwork. So it's so nostalgic to you know see it back and it feels great. So I'm really happy about that. He, of course, obviously has to be in the Radiator Spring Series. There's a nice little group shot of them all. And there's Hydraulic Ramon instead, though. The kind folks in Radiator Springs become Lightning McQueen's friends for life. And there you have Antonio Velose, Excelente, Nick Stickers, Sheriff, and Mater. Again, all four of them have already been released. I mean, you could tell instantly in the artwork here that this yellow is more accurate than that yellow, which is essentially just gold. Now he's in, I think, case, I don't know, T or V or something. I think it's V. But I found actually quite a few of that case in the store, but I only found two of him. And so I bought the only two I did find. Now here's trainer Cruz Ramirez, who's in 2020 case A for singles, along with Metal Cal Weathers. Like I said, this one is a little different than the others because she actually has never been released before, whereas the others have. There's a nice little picture of her with the headset there, along with Rusty's McQueen, Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, who we've already seen. This is the Rusty's Racing Center series. There's Sterling with Rusty and Dusty. The new Rusty's Racing Center features the latest in racer technology, or racer training technology. So yeah, I didn't think she warranted her own review because literally it's just an added plastic piece. And now she's also in case B and C for 2020, so she will not be hard to find at all. In fact, I found case C today. I'm one of the first to find it in the United States or in the world for that matter. And there were like two of her on the pegs. So here's Chris Revstopsky, another one. I did not have too much trouble finding this one. I think I found, I found two of Terry Cargas and three of Chris two of Ramon, and so far I found quite a few of Trainer Cruz because I was recently in San Diego and there was a little chain of toy stores called Geppetto's and almost every one of those had Case A of 2020. So here's Chris, of course. She is the flag waver in the Florida 500 series and for all the races for that matter. It's the opening race of the Piston Cup season. Who will take home the championship? 
And there you have Matty McGear, Mater with 95 signs, Sterling with headset, and good old Jackson Storm, all of which have been previously released. So I'll be right back with these excellent four mediocre releases, more so mediocre than excellent, all opened up. Now, the reason I'm recording this video right now before I head back to Notre Dame, literally I head back tonight, is because I want to have a clean slate for when I come back from spring break or whatever it is, whenever next I come back, just kind of starting off 2020 fresh here. So that also would mean opening these five bad boys here that have been looming over my head for months now. I've gone, you know, these XRS racers are hard to review. Not many people are interested in them. Like when I do my videos on them, they don't get that many views. So, you know, I'm just going to open them now. And I don't really review every single car that comes out. So I don't feel bad about not reviewing these. But if there is some heavy, heavy duty demand for them in the future, I will review them. I did already take Jackson Storm out of the package one time so I could include him in the video for a comparison but I have not touched him here and neither have I touched Brick Yardley. I love Brick here in the XRS series for drag racing. He looks absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, that was like a little Amazon exclusive three pack. And then these are, of course, the Mud Racers TG Castle Nut. These are still plentiful in the stores. I don't know what it is. They just did not go over well. But I really do like TG. He looks phenomenal. And Dino Drafsky, who is, in my opinion, the most forgettable XRS Mud Racer release. Sorry, Clutch Aid fans, but that's just how it goes. He does look cool, though, but I definitely prefer some of the other ones. So, yeah, that is all I have to unbox, pretty much, except for Road Trip Manor, but he's in a deep depth of forgotten cars. All right, so here are the four main cars for this video all opened up, looking fantastic. Really the paint right now from Thailand is popping off to me, it is so glossy. So let's dive in right here. We're gonna start with, let's start with Trainer Cruz cause she is boring as heck. I'm sorry, Trainer Cruz, but literally you just have a little added headset. Nobody really cares. So here it is, just a little plastic piece that of course she had in the training center. She didn't even have it on the entire time. It was a really brief scene in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, it's a nice release. It's just kind of one of those, okay, necessary releases that Mattel, you know, they're bound to do it. They're inevitably going to make releases like this and Sterling with headset and, you know, Determined McQueen, just releases like that that nobody wants, nobody needs, but will buy them because they're cars. But yeah, this is kind of how it goes. Her tires are also a little bit different, or the rims, I should say, which is nice. You know, at least they changed a few things, but that may just be because this is a Chinese cruise and now she's from Thailand. I think this is, yeah, there's no Thailand cruise like this, like a regular cruise. There's obviously Thailand Rusties and Dynaco cruise, but not just a regular cruise. We're going to next move on to Ramon here, who I am a huge fan of. This yellow is so amazing. It really pops out from the movie. My only issue with him is the expression. It just doesn't look good. Or the eyes really is where the problem's at. The eyelid there just looks so grainy and his eyes look so robotic. I mean, they're, I mean, they look robotic on the Chinese release, but at least the eyelid looks good. Here it just does not. He's got his typical little smile there. Both of them have the paint gun, which looks to be pretty much the same. Obviously, the decals are also the same, but they look much better on that bright yellow. They pop off much better. Purple with those little green stems coming off there. And then this purple flame. So happy to see this yellow Ramon back and in its full glory. I just remember this scene vividly from the movie when he's 
painting the road, the stripes on the road, yellow. Of course, that's why he is yellow. And then the tractors just come stampeding down the road. And he is like, what the actual heck is going on right now? But yeah, really happy about this release. And of course, the only thing we now need is a just standard yellow Ramon that's not hydraulic with the paint gun. But yeah, you can see that these two match. But it's funny because usually when they convert over to hydraulic, the paint changes drastically. It happened with purple Ramon and of course even more so with lightning Ramon where he went from orange metallic to just kind of like a flat red paint. But that's not what happened with the yellow Ramon, that's for sure. All right, moving on now to Chris Revstovsky. So she might have experienced the most differences out of all of these here. Just because she's a completely new model now, whereas Ramon and Cruz weren't. She's now much thinner. The bed is sealed, which is accurate to the movie, which I really like. We don't see many trucks with sealed beds in the universe, the Cars universe. So it's great to see this one here because it's just realistic. I mean, it looks professional that she has a sealed bed there instead of being open, especially, you know, for her line of work. The expression looks mm, okay. Not as good as the China one with her mouth wide open. But I really do like this Thailand release. Of course, she has a green flag. I love that in the package, it already came sealed and stuck on there that you can't move it. Whereas these flags, you always had to move and you can take them out, I guess. But they're really a pain to get back in there. And it's also inaccurate for her to have the flags on the side view mirrors. To have them here on the side is much, much better. Although theoretically, I think they should be on the tire because that's where she can actually move. She can't move her fender. It's like me trying to move like my cheek. I can puff it out a little bit, but I can't really articulate much. The red rims are looking pretty good. They are different than what we're used to. And then you have the blue stripes and the official text. Her license plate reads CO8-16F. So that appears to be a California license plate. Very grainy there, not a big fan. She had a different license plate before, 8 Wavy 8, which is a much cooler license plate than this. Whoever's random initials and birthday that is, I have no clue. Whoever's initials are CF and birthday of August 16th. I want to do like a Mattel parody. Like I can just imagine them right now. Like just some guy sitting at his computer. He's like, yo, John, when's your birthday, man? He's like, August 16th. And then I guess I should say, yo, Charlie, because it was a C, right? Yo, Charlie, when's your birthday? August 16th. Why? Oh, nothing. I'm just putting your name on a license plate. Oh, what's your last name again? He's like, Flores. I was like, oh, my God. It's probably honestly what they do. Anyways, here is Terry Cargas, the Cars 3 Triple Dent Racer. I'll put my original reviews to Chris. I don't know, did I review Chris? No, I didn't. I reviewed Terry though. I'll put his link in the description below. I reviewed him just about two years ago, a little bit over that now too. So his expression is pretty much the same, but it does look much better on now his accurate model of Terry Cargas or Brick Yardley model versus the Cal Weathers style model that they incorrectly put him at before. Although Thailand does kind of mess up the eyes again, they're not a huge fan of how they look or the eyelids, I should say, but the mouth looks better than that. Other than that though, everything's very much the same in terms of the decals. Fenders look a little more protruding because of the new model. I don't believe there are any other differences. The rims are both gray. They're a little darker gray now. The blue's a little bit more vibrant instead of being washed out. So overall, this is a phenomenal improvement. Oh yeah, look at that green though. Those leaves above the fender there are so faded, whereas they're nice and fresh there on the Chinese version. And yet the blue is much more glossy and vibrant from Thailand. So typical, typical, typical. Spare mint flavored dent filter. So it's kind of like gum. 
And here's a huge difference though. Instead of this being just blue back here, it's like the turquoise, which looks actually really cool. I would assume this is accurate to the movie because you know if they're changing the model, they're probably gonna make sure that the paint job's correct as well. So I like that. Really nice changes here all across the board. Although Thailand does falter with the decals a little bit and the eyelids, but that's what we have come to expect now. So now it's time to give out the grades. I won't give grades on everything like with the Vinyl Toupee Custom. I'm obviously not going to give a grade for that just because it's a custom and I'm not going to try and grade somebody's work, but I will grade a company's work. So starting over here on the left with Trainer Cruz, she's going to get a C minus just because of how boring she is. Nothing really against her, nothing she could really improve upon. The expression actually looks good for Thailand, but still she gets a C minus. Ramon's gonna get a B because I like his color and all that, but the expression and the Thailand-esque-ness of it, I'm not a fan of. Chris Revstops, he's gonna get a B plus because I like all the changes they made with the flag, of course, being green now, narrowing her model and closing the bed. All fantastic changes. And FYI, they are going to make a white flag version of Chris Revstopsky this year. So I guess that's another awesome variant we'll be able to buy. And Terry Cargas is also going to get a B plus for the changes they made to his model and the paint job, but they falter a little bit with the expression there. And the leaves, like I pointed out, they just don't look as good. Even on the hood there, you can see that they are essentially faded out as if the sun had been beating down on it for 10 years now. But the Chinese version looks pretty fresh. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Let me know out of these four, which is your favorite? Like I said, mine's probably Terry Cargas, just because I love Piston Cop Racers. But yeah, thanks again. I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye now.